Uh, well, can you guess? I think it's probably going to be Joe Barrington, isn't it? Well, Paul Johnson likes to commentate in a Prada suit. for Gillis. Didn't really concentrate on the rest of that rally. Starts to get edgy, doesn't it, once you're back to within two points. Looking for the opportunity to attack there. Oh, she's all over it. She's all over that hold and flick from Lucy Link. Cool to have something else going on outside of uh, yourself. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Well, Paul Cole's got his own. Got all sorts going on here. He's got casual, casual clothing brands going on, and Naila Gillis uh, is matching him with her yeah. vegan recipes. Positive stuff from Lucy Lane. She's not going to let this game go easily, is she? No. Oh, there's a bit of a line through there. We're going for a review, but why is Lucy Lean not going through and playing this, Paul? Oh no, this is a bit of a bit of a clangor really from Lucy Ling yeah. not hitting that ball. Yeah, she stitched herself up there. Just got herself back into this game. Well there you go, confirmation unfortunate for Lucy Ling. Getting some joy on that forehand side now, Gillis. I thought that would have been one of the most common, commonly used words in Scarborough. That's well, good from Lucy Ling. She's looking sharp, and again, it's that combination taking the ball in. He well, that ball going to the nick. Just what the doctor ordered here in Hong Kong. The first match of the day going to five games. But it's all you. Four. Well, she hasn't got a review. Naila Gillis marches to that service box to get this next. Go. Great length to finish from Naila Gillis. Well, you see exactly what it means to Naila Gillis. She closes that out 3 2, advancing into the second round. Tough, tough battle here in our opening match. Naila Gillis winning 3 2, 65 minutes in total, We're taking that fifth game 11 6. In a very short space of time, she finds herself level at eight all. Oh, and that's a great width. Left 
see from that angle there. Just got it too wide for... Twali a bit angry with herself for letting it get to that. Second opportunity for Marion Matwali. 12-11. Oh dear. Another stroke there. She cannot get off the court quick enough there, the Egyptian player. That was very harsh. But she lost her review. Beautiful, beautiful backhand drop shot there. Set up with a brilliant length into that deep right corner as well. Onto it nice and early. And lovely. Well, the return of serve there was very poor, really, from Julian Cortis, right into the right into the volleying zone of uh, the Egyptian. You can't um, She's come straight through here to hold five game balls to take two of lead. She's oh, been lethal in that area in the second half of that second game. Good, you see, just had a bit more time there, didn't she, at the front of the court? She did, and Matwali guessing on the cross court. Well, there again into that front left corner, Julian Cortese. A lot of joy into that area of the court. Well, Cortese reading the trickle boast. Needs to be a good serve. off the side wall, that back and drop shot, but the pressure was on Matuali. And Julian Cortese manages to, to take that fourth game. Lucrative for her on the scoreboard. Certainly has. Not a bad time to, to do it either. Come on! Save it! Just spraying out the back corner and leaving that Straight ball. Perfectly executed. Clever play from Cortis. Just putting a bit of extra pace on that ball and getting it past Matuali.
she's managed to do it. Lovely played into that front right corner to seal the deal there from Julian Cortis. But 11-13, uh, 5-11, 11-8, 11-9, 12-10. Yeah, it's well done by Gillis. Had to work hard to get to the front right here, but was able just to control that drop shot. I don't think we'll see a stop using the shot, though. That ball staying really short. Well, three game balls for Grinham. Gillis is starting to read that little flick cross court. Yeah, it's nicely done. Brilliant finish. Well, the backhand drop working so well for Rachel Grinham. Because it's such an effective shot. But what it does do is it now opens up the straight channels for Rachel Grinham. A brilliant two wall bows from Timmy Gillis. It's varying the serve a little bit into that side. Couple down the middle of the body. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Did she actually get that? Well, it doesn't matter. She didn't get that next one. Well, it looked like a double to me. Yeah. Didn't matter in the end. <laughs> Just looks so uncomfortable in there, doesn't it? To stay in the rallies. I mean, Gillis doing incredibly well, hanging on in. <laughs> Such uncomfortable movements. Heart rate up at 185. Oh, well oh, that's quality. And Grenham all came from that straight ball down the backhand side. Missed it with that post. Sure she's hit more errors than she normally would with that shot. We feel like Grinham's taking charge. Yeah, she is. She she's taken charge. She's taken the game. 14-12 to the experienced Aussie. Yeah, great skill there from Grinham. Almost danced around the ball before she nudged it straight down Aussie. the line. Yeah, she had her on the run there. It's well finished by Grinham. Got time in that rally to look around at her opponent. There you go, the error from Gillis. Good fourth game from Rachel Grinham. Spot on with that one, 11-5 to close out that match. She's won it in 38 minutes, a 3-1 against Tina Gillis. Quickly squandered.
hold there from Latona at the front corner. Two very contrasting ways to get the ball into that back corner. The first one. Straightened. A bit cheaply. And that forehand tin from Shaheen giving Latuno the first game. Well, she's just equal to everything that the Egyptians thrown at her here. Brilliant finish. Somehow managed to dodge the ball. Yeah, kind of went behind her. Well, plenty of game balls left. And there you go. Vanessa is that the winner of the uh, matches in this, uh, this evening's session actually get a day off tomorrow. Um, which I think probably would have been of more benefit to the four players who won in the earlier session because they're all brutal. I think she's missed really. First easy opportunity she's missed anyway. Great boast yeah. again from Latuno. She just judged the pace and angle of that beautifully. I mean, that was two two in a row, wasn't it? Opened up. Brilliant performance by Latuno. Three love win for the Canadian player. Just 23 minutes against the higher ranked Egyptian. 11-5, 11-3 and 11-6, very impressive stuff.